foodie fam, foodie fam. Good morning, good morning, good morning, people. I am still out here getting it popping in LA. It's a beautiful day. The sun is actually in our favor, which is a first. It, it's been a couple cloudy days out here, but I don't mind. I'm still on my grind. Collab City continues. And right now, we're heading to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Yeah, I know, I know. Dame, another chicken joint. Listen, we don't have a chicken and waffles in Connecticut. And I told y'all before, if you're new around here, I'm telling you for the first time, when I start traveling, I always go to spots that I do not have direct access to back home. Look, I just wanna go to Roscoe's, baby. I just wanna go to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles over here. That's all your boy really wants to do. You have arrived at your destination. Five, zero, oh, zero, yeah. six, oh, yeah. West Pico Boulevard. Oh yeah, let's get our hungry on. on. Right. Let's get our hungry on Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, baby. You already know what time it is. It's time to do this food review. That's what time it is. Oh. Your boy hungry, I brought nothing but my appetite. It's early in the morning. I wanted to get here before it started getting too crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, food review, out of pocket, all type of super official. Ah, Oscars. Let's go. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Shemay Man Dame drops back in with another super official. Food review, kid, dig it, baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. Ooh, y'all like Dame, you love that brown velour. Nah, not really. It was just a little cold this morning. This long jacket that I brought out with me. So you already know I'm at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Let's just get right into this thing thing. It is smelling crazy right now. You know how you get that nice little hint of vanilla batter scent that comes up off the waffles. They hooked your boy up. Got a nice little baggie of utensils. Got some salt and some pepper in here as well. A little napkin. That's how you do it. All right, a little package to go. Let's start right here, y'all. Let's start right here. Because you know I wasn't going to get just chicken and waffles without getting the biscuit as well. All right. Woo. Ooh. I just want to push on that. Let me just push on the biscuit. I'm going to push that biscuit one time, and then I'm going to hit that biscuit. But I want y'all to hit that biscuit first. Get a nibble. Oh, this thing is soft. Oh, my goodness, and it smells so good. Ooh, you're talking to your boy the right way. You're talking to your boy the right way. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thick biscuit. I hit that thing off with a little bit of butter. Somebody's in trouble. I promise you, somebody is so in trouble. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles Soft Biscuit Game. I must I give it a four. Solo Dolo, I give it a four by itself with no, no butter on it or anything. Without the addition of like a syrup or a honey or anything, not bad. A little four piece Roscoe's, but I'm not here for your biscuits. Ain't really much to talk about. I know many of you are like, oh my God, <laughs> chicken again? Yeah, chicken again. I mean, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. And I'm not even the chicken connoisseur, but chicken again. All right, so, and, and quick shout out to chicken connoisseur out there doing his thing thing, London represent. But yo, we're here for the chicken and waffle game. That's it, nothing else. I didn't order anything else. For $18, I got myself chicken and waffles, or two pieces of chicken, some waffles, a large drink, two biscuits. Oh, now it smells good. I ain't never lied to you, boo. Ooh, rock by baby on the treetop. When the wind blows. All right, enough of that, enough of that. Okay, checking the press right now on the waffles. Mm-hmm. Fresh, fresh waffle game. Look how big that waffle is before I go ahead and break it. Look how big that thing is. I ain't but chicken. I mean, all I really want to know the other day is, is Raffles Chicken and Waffles live up to its name. 
Let's go ahead and hit them waffles with a little bit of syrup. Why not? Why not? Appreciate you, Syrup. We appreciate you. Now, I'm going to let that absorb in for a minute. While I get to this breast, I'm going to let that, that absorb in. Because breast usually has... That flavor real proper in there. Oh, shoot. I got this only but one way to handle this, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Looks look at that seasoning. I was complaining the other day about the seasoning game when I was at Church's Chicken. But look at the seasoning on that breast. Alright, let's go in. Let, let, let's go in. Get your nibble first, but then I'm going in. Mm. Just pick it up as is and then hit it as is, right? Definitely greasy. <laughs> I'm noticing that right off the top. If you come over here to Rossell's Chicken and Waffles and your lips are a little ashy, the chicken's gonna take care of that ash for you. You're gonna have chicken gloss all over your lips. It's gonna look real crazy. But um, let me hit the chicken one more time itself. Now that I got past the skin, let me hit the chicken one more time. Woo! Thing's hot. It's not terrible, ladies and gentlemen. It's not the best chicken that I've had in my life. It reminds me of old style KFC chicken. Before KFC really started changing the chicken game. It's a thick bite of breast. I appreciate that. Not really, it is tender, but not a tender fender bender. On the tender side of this chicken, out of a five, I would give that tender flex, I'd give it a three and a half. The skin, it's, it's seasoned nice, it, it definitely provides for a nice flavor. You're gonna get that hint of sweetness. And you got it You got it blazed with the waffles. So not only are you gonna get the hint, the hint of sweetness on the batter that matters, but you're also gonna get that whole entire waffle flow within the flour. And it's not flour that's overpowering the chicken. So you're not gonna taste straight flour. You don't have to worry about that. But you're definitely gonna get a nice little bite of meat. You're definitely gonna get a nice little bite of chicken on this one. All right, let me try that 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 leg though. Let me try that leg. Oh, that thing got syrup all over it. That's crazy. Wow. Mhm. Mm Ooh, the leg been sitting so long. It got the waffle flex on it and the syrup on there. Sweet leg. This is a sweet leg right here and it's juicy. And this one's juicy. Hot. Or hot. Or you hot. Mm-hmm. Mm. So before we get into the waffle, right now, Rossell's chicken and waffles. Your chicken, I'm gonna give your chicken a four. A strong four too. I almost lean towards a four and a half, but I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna give it a strong four. Now let me let me mess around with this waffle. Let me break you up. And let me fold you over. It hit you just like this. Why am I getting a cinnamon flow on this one? Like a hint of cinnamon, like. That's a nice soft waffle too. That's good. Vanilla and cinnamon. Sweetness off the maple syrup. Let me break off some of this chicken. Let me do something. Let me do something a little crazy. I mean, don't call it Roscoe's chicken and waffle if you ain't prepared to hit the chicken with the waffle. Don't call it Roscoe's chicken and waffle. Hit that thing together. Yo, I like that. Right. I've had a lot of waffles. That's a good waffle, y'all. Five all day on the waffle game. Four on the chicken. 
Roscoe's chicken and waffle, you're good for that four and a half with the whole combination, you're good for it. You get a little bit of sweet, get a little savory, and it was actually a delight to have the combination of the two. There's a lot of locations that try to knock off Roscoe's chicken and waffles. I'm starting to see chicken and waffles creep creep on everybody's menu. A lot of spots just can't get it right because you have to do the two the right way. You can't just drop the ball on the waffle and, and your chicken is amazing. Or you can't drop the ball on the chicken and your waffle's amazing. Like right now, and I came here, so they open at eight o'clock in the morning. I came here at like 8, 10 in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I wanted to make sure that I was getting a fresh batch of love. I don't know if their afternoon chicken waffle game falls off or if their evening chicken waffle game falls off. I came over to Roscoe's chicken and waffles first thing in the morning and slightly impressed. The chicken isn't extremely crispy, but you're gonna get a light crisp on the chicken. It's just, it's just gonna happen. That's just how they prepare it. They don't go too heavy with the flour. You're gonna get that golden brown skin, not that high yellow tint of golden brown because we did too much flour, no. But it's not, it, it is, the chicken is greasy. That's why I gave it a four piece instead of a five. It, it is heavily greasy. You already know when you got too much grease in the system, you know what happens next. But that's, that's that combination works. And added with that little soft biscuit game, that's not bad. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffle, four and a half from your main man, Dame Drops. All right, Foodie Fam, you enjoyed the video, please hit it with a thumbs up. But if you hate the video, hit it with a thumbs down. Boo, 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 because you know how we get down. Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, more and more and more. Super, Super official. official. Food of his kid, Digga Baby, I know you can't hate listen, man.